This woman is holding a framed painting of an iris. But if you look a little closer, you'll see that this woman is a framed painting of an iris. This is body painting, and I'm Mark Greenwald, and I'm going to talk about the art of painting on the human canvas. I've loved creating art since I was a small child, and I'm a superhero geek like some of the other people here. And I actually did go to the, I saw the Avengers this morning at midnight, so uh, that proves it. Um, this is a picture of me painting Ghost Rider in middle school for a Halloween contest. Uh, my mother, who's in the audience tonight, hi mom, she, um, she sent me to art lessons when I was very young and I learned uh, all the basic techniques of uh, drawing and painting and shading and perspective and I was just a huge fan of the sci-fi realm. And then around 99, 98 is when I first saw Sports Illustrated swimsuit it's painted on by Joanne Gare, who also did the Demi Moore, and I was hooked. I loved body painting, and this is my first body painting I did of a black widow spider with liquid latex. After that, um, I started, uh, I painted a back painting of an uh, Arizona sunset and a uh, full body painting, the first full body painting of a queen of spades, and suddenly I had a portfolio, and I was discovered by uh, Airbrush Action, who did a uh, two-page spread on me. Um, I would take photos and people would say, that's good, and I'd have a painting and they're like, oh, no, it's really good, but body painting was something that people just reacted to, and uh, just like I did, and I, they just uh, it went the next step, so I started researching it to see how I could get better at it. Um, I found that you could buy body paints and face paints at theatrical makeup shops, and liquid latex at adult novelty shops, and then I learned how to uh, glue zippers on, and. And I actually even went back to uh, dust off an old airbrush that I had as a kid and just took it to another level with the airbrush painting that uh, I, I became better at. In, in addition to the conventional brushes and even sponge brush, sponges I used. And there was no rules. I could do whatever I wanted with it and that's what was so magic. This picture, for example, I airbrushed the sky to get a gradient, sponged the clouds, used brushes for the, the mittens of the monument and even splattered it. But keep in mind, all the pictures you see here have now washed away. So that's why taking a photo of body painting is so important. Um, you have to have a great model, you have to do the photography just as good as you can and, and um, obviously get props and produce the image. Um, there's uh, legal issues that you have to take into account. Uh, a photographer and a body painter own the image together, so that's why I actually do most of my own photography even. But you have trade, trademark uh, issues and model release forms, and there's always the issue of nudity and, and the legalities of that. Some, if you concentrate on some areas, the nudity doesn't really matter as much because, of course, uh, face painting is something kids of all ages enjoy, and uh, belly painting is something that kids that aren't even here yet enjoy. <laughs> so um, I'm actually, by day, an electrical engineer, and if I had to make a living off body painting, I'd probably be a starving artist, but I do get some cool gigs every now and then, uh, such as the uh, Oscar statues for Oscar Night America and uh, uh, Mr. Anatomy from the Body Worlds exhibition. But most of what I do is um, nonprofit type things like sci-fi conventions and comic book conventions. I'm also in that geek culture. Um, for example, this was uh, two uh, blood drives that I did for the Heinlein Society where I recreated the covers of two Heinlein, boo, by the way. Uh, <laughs> So uh, special effects makeup is something that uh, is kind of extreme body painting, but the same liquid latex I use for the Black Widow Spider, if you add a little bit of cotton and a little bit of toilet paper, you can make pretty cool zombies, add eye contacts, and voila. Now I did say that all my paintings have been washed away by now, but uh, life casting is a, an opportunity where they actually make a mold of a real person and then make a plaster uh, statue of them, and I can paint those, and this was the first body paintings I did that actually hang on the wall and sell. When I got started with this, uh, the goal was really just to get um, people to see my work, so I've been very fortunate to get uh, some of my works shown in magazines, and here's a few covers that I've gotten. So that was the main thing, but another thing that happened was I got to travel, and uh, some of the really cool things that were beyond my wildest dreams was I got to do some body painting lingerie at the Playboy Mansion, which was pretty cool. Um, I got to teach body painting in England and Canada and a few throughout the United States, and also even got in the competition and took second place in China. Um, where I'm heading with it now is, um, I, I love the photography and everything, but I love filmmaking now and getting my, my body painting uh, art form in, in movies. Um, Wish Incorporated was in Phoenix Film Festival this past month, and I was also done a um, couple music videos. And ultimately, I want to get back to the um, sci-fi 
uh, illustrations that really inspired me at first and taking body paintings to the next level by making them digital artwork. That's my portfolio. Thank you. <laughs>